Welcome back, everyone. Well, let's face it. One of the biggest decisions we make involves the biggest asset that we have or want to have, which is buying and selling a home. And that could be a home, it could be an apartment, it could be a co-op, but real estate purchase and selling real estate, of course, is a major decision for all of us. And also, we're going into a brand new year and a brand new uh, election cycle. And joining me today is an expert in the field of real estate, Lou Izzo. Welcome, Lou. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you for having me. Very nice to have you here. Now, Lou is, uh, uh, to describe you, Lou, you're a consultant. You've been in the real estate business most of your life. You love the business. What do you like about the business? Well, you know, I've been in the business 27 years. Right. So that is most of my life. And mm -hmm. um, I get the question, what do you like the most about it from a lot of our clients as well? And the work that we do almost always is in, uh, involves someone's largest asset in mm -hmm. their life. To be able to care for that, Jesse, and help them go through the process of either buying or selling their home, it's a fairly intimate process with people, and to do it as professionally as possible, and then at the end of it, walk away feeling that you've not only done your job, but your client genuinely appreciated what you've done, it's a great reward as a career, and to be able to do that for 27 years is a privilege in my mind. You know what? Uh, I've heard it uh, said many times that the actual transaction in your business is in a lot of ways, at least important part that, you know, you're really getting to know someone, you do. getting to know what they want. Uh, they've got their own struggles. You know, they're in this, they, it's hard for them to get to the point of making a decision. A lot of people think that in real estate that we sell and, yeah, and I right. guess we do sell, but the truth is we listen. Mm -hmm. The best real estate professionals really listen keenly to what their customers are looking for, what their needs are, and then fulfill those needs throughout the transaction. So really that work, leads up to that ultimate transaction. And if you've done those first pieces correctly, the end just kind of comes together as it should properly. Now, uh, you've recently come into the marketplace, owner, partner in Select Sotheby's. Yes. Uh, Sotheby's reputation, of course, you, goes without saying that that's a really highly regarded real estate name. Right. Highly regarded name, period. Right, right. And uh, what interests you about the area? Well, I ran a large uh, New York State real estate company, one of the top 40 in the country. And when I moved on to other things, Saratoga, Saratoga County, the capital region, had always been attractive to me. The Saratoga marketplace is amazing. The community is filled with all of the culture, all of the um, culinary aspects, the things that really bring people into Saratoga, everything from the racing community on. It was very attractive to me. But the real estate community was very vibrant. And the fact that the opportunity was here with Sotheby's really is kind of the perfect match for me because we looked at that as a launching point for all of New York State for us. And now being in Saratoga, getting to know the people, the community, um, it's been just wonderful. It's a great opportunity. Well, you know what? In a completely different category, my category, I feel very much the same way. <laughs> it's something about this region. It's something it, it about is. this area, right? Well, you feel different when you yeah, come you here. Do. You know, I get around the state, and New York is the best state in the country, in my mm -hmm. opinion. But this part of the state is truly special. Mm -hmm. It really is. Well, you know, Lou, at the beginning I said, you know, we're at an election cycle. We have a new administration coming in. We do. You know, um, what, what, what's the sense out there about, about buying and selling right now? Well, there's been a lot of interest in it right now because right. the stock market has had a, quite a run since, yes, the, right. since the election really occurred. We've seen a significant gain in the stock market. That gets people's interest because they look at their, their net worth increasing and they start to think about diversification. Should we leave the money in the market? Should we put some into real estate? Um, they believe in real estate as an investment. But the big question has been, do we sell now or do we wait until after the first of the year? Do we want to see what the tax changes will be with the new administration? What's going to happen with capital gains? Where are we at on all of this? So there's, in our mind, there's pent up uh, excitement right now and a little bit of nervous anxiety about what to do and when, which we kind of like in our business. In addition, we've got the interest rates, which are going up just a hair. And the Federal Reserve has said that they're going to continue to move them up slightly through 2017. So timing and when to do that will require some, uh, some good advice and sitting down with a professional and figuring out when and how to do just what you want to into your real estate. You know, it sounds to me like it's a good time. Uh, and I guess this time of the year also, you think to yourself, oh, I don't want to buy or sell. There's snow on the ground, you know. <laughs> in reality, it's probably the opposite, right? Well, it is, you know? it is in this regard. I consider the spring market in real estate, which is what everybody seems to talk about, right. actually to begin February 1st. I'm yeah. watching the Super Bowl thinking that tomorrow is the beginning of the spring market. And the reason for that is because many people like 
to move in the summertime. If you work backwards from the summertime to when your house should go on the market, the number of days on the market that your house will likely be out there, and then sold, and then the time to close it, that brings you back into like February or March to get the home on the market to be ready to move in the summertime. So we see that that bump happen really in, in the wintertime. February's cold. You know, in, in your category, if someone's doing uh, the, right, the right job, they would really partner up with a buyer or a seller because it isn't you just put the sign up front the next day and then you're going to sell your house, right? I mean, there are things that you can, as advice that you can give those people about how to present their property in its best light. True. Right? Those True. kinds of things. So that happens depending on the price range. We look at that as well. Um, you know, the average home in America today is selling faster than it has over the past few years. As you go up in pricing, get into the luxury market, some of those homes are on the market for an extended period of time. And how to position those homes, how to stage yes, right. them, how to market them is a lot of that process of getting ready to sell your home and get that timing down, which is very important to people. Yeah, I'm sure it is. And uh, again, being a good listener is probably Agreed. very, very important in your business because how would you even know how to position a home or what you would feel are the best assets and benefits to selling that home without talking to that person. In, in a lot of the work that I've done over the years in working with real estate agents, one of the key areas that we focus on is, is not just listening, it's asking the right questions yeah. so that you can listen. Knowing those right yeah. questions to ask and then really hearing what you're getting back from your client, it's essential in our business yeah. and sometimes overlooked. I bet it is. Uh, one last thing. What's the number one question after all these years that someone <laughs> asked you? So when should I buy or sell is now the right <laughs> oh, time. <come> on. <laughs> I get that question all the time. And um, I would say currently that this is an excellent time to sell because we are in a classic seller's market right now. There are many buyers. There are not as many properties on the market to meet buyer demand right now. So sales prices are going up and this is a good time to sell your house, especially moving into that spring market. We are in a seller's market. Well, Lou, it's very nice to meet you. Thank you for coming in. Uh, Lou is a new partner. Uh, select Sotheby's right here in Saratoga Springs. And uh, I guess we'll, as soon as the snow gets off the ground, <laughs> spring will be upon us. My great honor to be here, Jesse. Thank you. <laughs> great. You're welcome, Lou. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.